Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down some arena. But first, we got some pretty big news to talk about for Magic the Gathering War of the Spark. I'm sure if you follow the news at all for War of the Spark, you know about this and are probably just as pumped and excited for this as I am because uh, everybody's been blown up about this for the last three days or two days whenever they announced it late a couple nights ago. We are getting alternate art for all of the 36 Planeswalkers in War of the Spark, Japanese alternate arts. This is only going to be in the Japanese um, text and uh, in their booster boxes uh, over in Japan, but they are making them available throughout uh, the world as well, so you can get it at your local game store, supposedly. MSRP is gone now, so prices of these things are... I mean, it's going to be more expensive, let's be honest. The booster boxes, everybody's going to try to get their hands on them. I have no clue where that's going to go or lead to. All I know is the collector in me is coming out. I, I'm not really huge on collecting Magic the Gathering cards. I prefer to play it as the game. The only thing I collect are, like, Merfolk foil cards. I want to end up getting all the foils of Merfolk cards eventually. Um... But slowly over time, that's about it for collection for me as far as Magic the Gathering goes. I'd rather just buy the cards I need for the game, play it in paper, play it on Arena. Cool as can be. This is the first time I've wanted to collect a full set of something. I want every single one of these Planeswalkers. They look so cool. They look so sweet. I've said it since I started playing Magic that they need to branch out and do other art styles. And... They started to in this set with a Johnny Pride made uh, the Planeswalker in uh, a Johnny's artwork. I, I said it in the, the video when we talked about some of the spoilers that were coming out for the new Planeswalkers. He has some very unique, different art that you typically don't find on the Magic the Gathering card. Uh, and I love it. It looks sweet. It looks awesome. It's more comic booky style. It's got some really nice uh, coloring to it, the soft palette. Really cool. But man, all these are like anime inspired. We've got a Final Fantasy artist on one of these cards. I believe it's uh, Arlen. Is it Arlen who does the Final Fantasy? I'm going to go through them right now. These things are sick. I want every single one eventually. I know some are going to be more expensive than others. The Liliana one, people are already hyping that one up to beyond belief. That one's probably going to be pretty expensive. But some of these other ones, you got to remember, we've got a bunch of uncommon planeswalkers. Rares, Mythics, and Uncommon, so I, I hope that these prices don't go super insane uh, because they will be fairly common to get for the most part, other than, say, the few Mythics. Um, and in the Japanese booster boxes, they're actually going to appear 50% of the time. So 50% of the time, you will get one of these alternate arts for the Planeswalker, and you get one Planeswalker in every pack. So you should get 50% of your pulls in those Japanese booster boxes to be these alternate arts of these Planeswalkers. They're still going to be highly sought after. They're still going to be reasonably expensive, I think. Uh, but I definitely want to get all 36 of these. I think they just look awesome, and I want to fully support this because uh, I think they need to do this more uh, as far as uh, Wizards of the Coast goes. They need to branch out and do special things like this in our booster packs. I'm sad that it's only in Japan. Um... But, man, if they start doing this again, you know, we, we've had masterpieces in the past uh, that they threw in, and that was awesome. Everybody likes getting the masterpieces, but they need to do more stuff like this with this alternate art. And it's not the Mythic Edition crap that everybody goes on about. That's, that's trash for what they should be doing to the fan base and the community. I think this is what they need to be doing. Have special pulls, special alternate arts that you can get, and I want to fully support that. I want all of these, man. Let's go through a few of them here. Karn, Ugin, Gideon. Look at how sick those look. So sweet. Ugin looks absolutely awesome. Karn, he's looking fresh. Gideon, I'm not a huge fan of the artwork on that one, but it's still sweet. I still want all of these, definitely. I'm not going to remember all the names of these. we got Jace over here. Looking fly. Looking cool. The Wanderer. Uh, I forget you. Sorry, buddy. Down here, I forget the names of all these new ones, but, oh, these three are sweet looking, especially her. This is sweet. That is a cool looking artwork for this card. That is really cool. I love this artwork. It's so cool. Here's Liliana. 
Liliana over here looking uh, pretty cool. Looks like they colored her with colored pencils, but man, does it work. She does look sweet. I'll give her that. It's not my favorite one, but everybody's a Liliana fanboy or girl at heart. A little bit. I'm not the hugest fan of her, but uh, it's definitely some cool artwork. Sandra over here. Nibbliss or whatever his name is. Nibble boy. Big demon boy. Uh, let's see. What's her name? I forget her name too. Dragon Boy, he looks cool. He's got some cool artwork. I wish they would have zoomed in a little bit more uh, to his face, just a little bit, but I do love all the coloring around him. We uh, got Tybalt, Tybalt looking cool, just chilling, not doing much. Here's Arlen, and uh, this one, I'm a super fan of this one. I love this artwork. That is my aesthetic right there when it comes to anime. That is some nice artwork i believe this is the final fantasy one right here uh she or he i i don't know who does it but they're famous for doing pretty much all the final fantasy artwork for uh the arts and story storyboard stuff like that for the games really cool um again look at look at all of these man i'm a huge fan of this one too love love all this stuff coming up and over really unique really uh perspective driven and breaking the borders just looks phenomenal Johnny over here not my favorite he's not my favorite either, but they all look really unique and, and cool here's Nicol Bolas he looks a little silly uh, <laughs> he looks pretty silly it's a unique take uh, Soren over here he's looking uh, pretty cool I believe this artist did Castlevania artwork so right up his alley or her alley sorry I'm not over from super familiar with the artists in Japan, uh, but his artwork's very, very cool. I think everybody's very excited for this one. Tamio or Tameo, whatever her name is, got all these scrolls coming up and over and through. Really cool. Teferi, he looks all right. Uh, Minotaur Man, he looks all right. This one looks pretty cool. A, sh a Shocky or a, so a Sock? I don't know. That one's pretty cool, though, and that's going to be a pretty popular Planeswalker, I believe, so... That one's going to be highly sought after, but it's uncommon. It's uncommon, so I'm hoping these things don't get crazy priced. This is some great artwork on a raptor over here. Pretty cool. She looks terrible. I hate this one. It's it's my least favorite. <laughs> it does not look great. But all these, man, really, really cool. Sahili over here, she looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. But look at, look at um, Veraska, man. Veraska just looks super dope. Anyways, that's all of them. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I'm like, super excited for these. I I don't even know how we're gonna get our hands on these easily. Everybody's gonna uh, you know, try to find these things and, and get them as quickly as possible. Might be better just to wait till all the hype dies down and then try to get them. But I'm hoping these things aren't crazy, insanely priced. So let's jump uh into some arena. Now that we talked about that, that exciting news. Uh, if you're excited for those Japanese planeswalkers, leave a like on the video. Let me know which one you're going to get your hands on 100%. But let's uh, start playing a game here. We'll just do one or two games, depending on how long we go here, since we talked a lot in the beginning. I haven't played in a while. I haven't played in like four days. I was editing like almost every night for all the other videos, the Hellboy review video, did over the weekend, I have a bunch of booster cracking videos, more um, Black Ops videos I'm editing. Uh, hopefully you guys like the movie review. This is a very keepable hand. Yeah, we'll lead with Miss Cloak, hopefully he doesn't die. Let's see what we're playing against. Yeah, hopefully you guys like the movie review, let me know if you did. If you want to see more of those, please let me know. Uh, yeah, it was interesting doing that for sure. All right, so I think we're just gonna do Silvergill Adept here. Show him Biomancer. Spell Pierce ain't bad. We've got all the tools right here. This is a good hand. I'm pretty happy with this. Body Racer, probably take my Curious Obsession. That's alright, we can do without. Maybe my Tempest Gin. Let's see. Spell Fierce uh, will be good to hold up next turn unless they take it here. We'll see what they do. Yep, Curious Obsession. That's fine. We got a card draw for Silvergill Adept. 
Rescue's Contempt goes to the graveyard. Wizard's Retort is alive. Uh, I think... Hmm. Let's attack. Hit him for three. We'll play Siren Storm Tamer, hold up Spell Pierce, so let's see if we can use it this upcoming turn here. Get it out of our hand, and then we'll start holding up Wizard's Retort. Tap land is good. I mean, they know about Spell Pierce, so they're going to try to play around it a little bit, but if they go for something, they go for something. Hovering over my cards. All over, over your lands. Two Spell Pierces. Let's go to attack. Uh, we're just gonna pass the turn. Yeah, let's just pass the turn. No need to rush. I don't want to empty our board too much here in case they, uh, play something crazy. Nicobolus. Uh, yeah. No thank you. I can usually bring him back relatively easily in my experience with this, uh, matchup. Uh, we'll drop Biomancer. We'll loot away one of these spell pierces. They're getting pretty dead. But we'll pass the turn to them first. Hopefully my mic isn't like too far away here. We could double spell spell pierce this. Because they will take my Tempest Gen, and I kinda wanna hold on to my Tempest Gen. Carefully plotting out which ones they're tapping to uh, do this. We're almost considering if it's worth it or not, I feel like. See ya. That's fine. Trickster's not bad here either. Um, we could loot, though, again. We'll still do it at end of turn. They're in rough shape, though. We have lethal. Oh, lava coil. Mm -mm. What are they going to do after this? That's my concern. Alright. I feel like a ritual suit's coming up. Board wipe. I mean, they didn't have to use a lava coil actually for that, so. Passing to attack. Passing to end of combat. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and just drop this. What is your plan? Seems like they might be able to survive one more turn. They might have an answer for something. Yeah, Veraskas. Uh, but we are going to do this. I mean, why wouldn't we? They're tapped out. GG. That's what Siren Storm Tamer's there for. Good game. The double spell, Pierce. Helping us get through. Where are we at? 13 minutes. We'll rock one more game. We'll see if it goes fast. If we go up against uh, Mono Red, I'm sure it will go fast. Tezzer went out last week, pre-ordered all my stuff for War of the Spark. Oh, gosh. This is, uh... If we're up against Mono Red, this is kind of a bad hand. I kind of want to keep it, though. Yeah, went out last week, pre-ordered all my pre-release stuff, spent like 300, bo 300 bucks on a bunch of pre-release kits for myself and my friends. Got my booster box. In that Tezzeret promo. They mulligans. Put one to the bottom. See if they found what they were looking for here. Oh, there it is. Get to. Alright, well, we're going to try to get them out of range here a little bit. We're just going to 
get heavy card draw going. There's nothing else we can do, so we'll get a nice big attack in. Don't need land. Don't need a fourth Curious Obsession. My gosh, that's insane. Goodbye, Miss Cloak. Alright, we need gas. Hmm, what'd I say, too? It's a bad hand against Mono Red. Just dead in the water with one creature in hand. Two get twos on the battlefield, another land. Alright, excellent. Told you this one's gonna wrap up quickly. Another land. Four curious obsessions. Flooding out. Lightning strike my face. Two damage to my face. We're taking six. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Water trap weaver, weaver is uh, not super helpful here. Um... We're going to tap down one of the Lava Runners, just in case they want to attack in. We can trade with the Gutter Snipe, but I doubt that we survive next turn. It's not looking likely. They need one Burn Spell. Okay, Shock to my face. There we go. GG. Good game. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you want to see some more Merfolk this week. I've been uh, playing some Popper Slivers. I, I posted one yesterday. hope you guys enjoyed that silly game. And uh, let me know uh, if you want me to continue with the Mono Blue and what your ideas are for some additions we can throw in with War of the Spark. Do you think Augur of Bullis will be a good uh, addition in this deck? I don't know if it really will. We don't have a ton of instants or sorceries. Not a crazy amount. I mean, we got a lot of counter spells and stuff, but he might do good. We'll see. Leave a like, and we will see you guys in the next video.